Hey everyone, welcome to my studio again. Uh, I'm making this video because I got some things from Joshua Bean, who's a painter out of Salida, Colorado. I've been using his plein air setup for a while, and uh, I've been uh, more or less an official ambassador to it. Not really by uh, any purpose, but just because people have always looked at my setup and been like, what's that? Because it's a little bit unique. Uh, if you want to look up his stuff, go to joshuabean.com. And if you want to look up his setup, you can go to prolificpainter.com. And so, um, I'd seen some things on his website recently because I was looking for um, how to build um, your own studio easel. And uh, in finding that, I saw that he had a whole bunch of new products that he just came up with. So all the stuff he's making is handmade, and uh, um, as far as I know, he's uh, been kind of doing the R&D and testing on his own and with other people that he's given stuff out to. So I wrote out to him, and I was like, hey, that stuff looks interesting, and I uh, uh, was giving him feedback on the second version of the Prolific Painter setup, and then... Uh, Without even asking, he was just like, yeah, let me just send you all that new stuff. I want to see what you think of it. And so I was like, well, okay, <laughs> sure, why not? So uh, he sent me a box, and this was the stuff that was in it. So you're probably thinking, like, what? <laughs> what is that toxic waste bag? And it looks like a carrying case of some sort. Uh, well, let's, how about we just open it up and see what we got inside of it. So... waste bag <laughs> so obviously I've opened it up before so you can see what it's actually in here you know, look at all these things before did some things here and there with them Fly on the wall easel. It's just a little Bouchard box of his own making. And uh, so you can see where the painting would sit. And it's got these two little shelves. And uh, this little handy shelf that fits inside of it hinges open and so if you really wanted to you could just use it this way keep it in your lap but uh, it's meant to be put on a tripod as you can see I put one of the the um, tripod adapters that comes with the tripod he gave me on here so that's how that works. And so, how it stays open is through these little Velcro straps. Kind of a nifty little way to do it. So you can put it at whatever angle between. So if you, for some reason, you want it at a 90 degree. Um, you could, if you wanted to, but... to you a little later but so the shelves actually just fit into these little slots that it has on here okay there's that the other side 
And so, there you go. It's all you need to be really set up. And just here's your palette, your plexi that he's got. Uh, looks like he's got silicone glued into, and uh, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a little box like that. That's all you need to get going. Um, how about we put the tripod? So this is a Proline by Dolica. So, the way I've been doing it is, uh, see these little rubber bands? I'll explain why those are important in a sec here. This is how I've been attaching to it. easier to close it back up. Attaches super quickly. Um, give you a better angle of it or at least a different one so there you have so right there is just enough for you to start painting if, as long as you have your your brushes with you but Obviously, that might not be too secure. That's what it'll take to fall out. So, what I do, I think this is how he meant it to go. Even though it's got the slot here. So that's how I think you're supposed to have it. So you now it's pretty secure. So you just pass the rubber bands through the slot there with the hooks um, that look like uh, almost like paper clips, like bet paper clips. And then um, you have a small little painting that, or panel that can be set up right there. And, uh, this one's a 5 by 7 so you can see what the capacity of the thing is for. Uh, probably don't want to go super big on there because you won't be able to... Uh, I don't know if it'll be quite so sturdy to have the panel there on it. Although it seems alright. Um, don't know how it will do in uh, heavy weather but 
the prolific easel is pretty good for that. Um, I think what he did was he meant for this thing to be used in little tight spaces or um, something that you can easily just take around. And uh, one of the nice things about it is that you can see what it what uh, it all fit inside of was just this uh, bag that says toxic waste on it. So the reason I think he's calling it a toxic waste bag is it's meant for like a garbage bag that you can just throw your your paper towels and stuff in, and uh, it's got comes with a little clip that you can uh, hang off of the one of the shelves there, and then it's got a drawstring. And then the neat thing about the drawstring, it's got these two um, things that you can actually just throw on your bag like a back or throw on your back like a backpack and carry everything around like that if you want but uh, yeah it's super portable and then uh, so this thing here um, is the medium container or solvent jar whatever you want to call it and so uh, I've had it in this bag for a bit and uh, looks like it's not spilling which is exactly the reason I don't normally use these things because they almost all spill those stupid metal jars they're heavy and they always break on me uh, or they always leak on me so let's see how this works it looks like it just took like a fencing or chicken wire whatever that's called and uh, stuck it in there that's pretty clever and then, uh, so I took a paper towel and just cut it in half, as I saw that he was doing. And, uh, yeah, so, how this attaches to the box. So it's got two little screws that these loop onto, which, I don't know, I'm not crazy about. I feel like there's a better way to keep that uh, stuck there. Like maybe if you put, I don't know, some sort of hook in there instead of these little screws. But it'll do the job, I think. I think uh, gravity keeps that there. So, uh, the reason I cut it in half, and he does too, is because uh, this just takes up less space near your knees. And, you know, you have enough going on around here. You don't want all that in the way. And so, you just uns unscrew the, the solvent can, and there you go. You just have it there right next to your hand. But, um, I have to see in the field how that works. But, uh, so the next thing, so you can have, show you what that is. And, uh, this here is just a travel case that you can put your, your, uh, brushes, your paints, of course. And then uh, whatever else you want. But here's a neat little thing that he gave me inside of the thing. It's a little mirror that, you know, just for looking at values and uh, checking your composition and all that. You know, whatever you use a mirror for when you're drawing and painting. And this is also neat too telescoping mall stick. Probably don't need it that much, but look at that. There you go. So that's a pretty neat little Josh Bean original. I'm pretty sure it is. And so most brushes won't 
fit inside here. They're a little too long, but you can always cut down the handles. So uh, if you want maximum portability, you can do that. Or you can even stick them in here, actually. <laughs> that works too. So there's that. And now um, this is something that he's really proud of making. It's uh, called a sketch box. So it's uh, built in a lot of the same way that the box, the Prashad box is. But uh, so on this side, Prisma colors of different values. And uh, a pen with a little light sphere on it. And of course, a little pencil and a pencil sharpener. There you go, Prisma color color race. And so the idea that he had with this is that um, instead of carrying a sketchbook around, you just have a note paper in your car. When you're out in the field, you have this going where, you know, draw your little note hand sketch. You know, whatever you're drawing. And, uh, different values. All the way to black. So. The idea is that, you know, you can take this everywhere and you're never at a loss for having sketchbook material. And uh, it's a good idea. I don't really love the clip. I think you can get a more robust clip for that and uh, still not lose any, um, any portability. Is it just see what happens? You have to really squeeze it open and I don't know. I don't think these cards fit so well. And the cards are just, you know, scraps of paper, three by fives, but you can get, if you really want to make some nice sketches out of it, you can put whatever type of paper you want, watercolor paper, Bristol board, um, whatever you really like sketching on. I do like Prismacolor color race pencils. They're nice. Do you like uh, ballpoint pens? There's this guy. He's really into uh, the color sphere. So it's just a little ball, a little slightly off white ball that if you look at it, you can see where the light source is. And uh, you can see where your shadows are. It just, it's a neat idea. You can, uh, see where uh, where the direction of your light is coming from so for me it's like anyways I know it's hard to tell where the cast shadow would be from. something like that but very cool idea kudos to him because you can really know where you're um, where your highlights should be, your light direction, everything. Um, even uh, indoors like this, um, it's good for still lights because you always know more or less where your light is coming from if you get stuck or out of uh, out of focus. And you can always refer to that. So that's a neat idea. I like that. And, uh, and also fill curve shut. See, it's not completely flat because I just put some extra um, markers in there, but you know, it still stays closed. And um, yeah, I think that's 
everything that he gave me. There's more things that he actually has on, on his website, but um, this is all the main stuff. I mean, the idea is to have this to go around and uh, and always be ready um, to paint because it all fits in a little bag rather than most of, of the setups. I mean, there's other miniature setups out there, the Gorilla Painter Box, which I'm not a huge fan of. I had one for a while, but I don't love it. It's a little too top heavy. And then um, Brian Mark Taylor's Strata Mini that he came out with is, I think, relatively the same. Uh, it's about roughly the same size, I think. So you actually do need a little wet panel carrier, unfortunately. It doesn't quite... I mean, like, if you put it that way, it'll still keep there, but I don't trust it. Especially if you have paint down here. Um, I feel like it'll, you're running a huge risk of actually getting paint on your wet painting if you tried to carry it in here. So, you do need a, um, a carrying, a wet panel carrier of some sort if you're going to use this. Um, thing, but that's actually one of the things he has on um, on his website as well. He didn't give me one, but uh, that's fine. I already have one of his older style wet panel carriers, which I love. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me just uh, show you how quickly you can take it apart. One concern I have with this setup is that these will get lost. Um, so maybe what I'll do for my own purposes is tape it or glue uh, these on the bottom here somewhere underneath that. So that has no risk of happening. So this Velcro chef. That's super compact, you can see. Take this apart and sweep it quick. Okay. Alright, let's say we're done with our painting. We now just get out of where we are now. So I'll show you how it all fits in there. Easel, um, which I think, you know, I'm looking at this now, um, I'm sure there's a purpose to that, um, but I don't yet know what it is, um, so, let me put that in there, Next I'll put my little sketch box in the closet. bag. Okay. You want to 
these as a backpack. And then uh, strap this. There you go. You're ready to go. Got your little thing. If you want to carry it like this, you could. But, uh, yeah. So, I would recommend getting an actual backpack dedicated to carrying all this stuff. Cause, um, although it's easily doable, um, might as well be a little bit more comfortable and be able to carry a little bit more around. Um, final thoughts? I don't know if I would actually want to use this one as a oil painting kit. I think I might just uh, pack my gouache in here and use that. So, uh, I have enough oils to go around, so I don't know if I need another little small oil painting box, but gouache is already super convenient. Um, tubes are smaller to carry around than oil, so um, why not? Alright, so uh, I thank Josh Bean again. Um, He's out of Salida, Colorado, and go to joshuabean.com if you want to um, buy him support him. He's a good guy. He makes quality stuff by hand. And, uh, um, super generous, as you can see. He gave me all this stuff for free. So, there you go.